I would like you all to close your eyes and just imagine a school playground. A kid was on a top of a jungle gym, enjoying his school recess and having fun with his friends. He suddenly slips and falls directly onto an iron rod. He gets to know that he is not able to walk anymore and he cannot play any of the sports. The school PT teacher takes him to the hospital and the doctor tells him there is very severe internal bleeding in the right side of the kidney. Cut to. That same kid is now an international table tennis player and plays at the international level. <laughs> and is also sponsored by one of the top athletes of the world. Good afternoon everyone, my name is Manush Shah and I'll be sharing my journey from how I was being unable to walk till I became the youngest Indian to enter into the top 100 in world ranking. The day when I got to know I cannot walk and I was supposed to be bedridden, um, it completely shattered me and my confidence totally broke. I was, I was wondering how will I play any other sport in my future. You can understand, for me, me being an um, Hyperactive kid, it was very difficult for me to channelize my restlessness into something which, which gives me such a pleasure. Over a period of time, I recovered somehow and after the recovery, me and my family decided to go on a trip. Me and my father started playing the game of table tennis just for a leisure purpose and that's when he saw the spark for me in the game. After coming back, we decided to join one academy so that I can channelize my restlessness into something productive. And since I could not play any other outdoor sport, my doctor had told me very clearly if I played any other outdoor sport, I had a direct risk of life. So that's how I started the sport. Me and my coach uh, trained for six to eight months before, uh, before he asked me to participate in uh, my first tournament, which was at the district level. I was very tensed, but at the same time, I was very excited to play the tournament. I went there, the atmosphere was very electrifying, and my, my first tournament was a district level tournament in Vadodara. I went there, I played my first match, and I lost. That was the first tournament I played, and the first loss I suffered. I was very angry and upset, and I told my co I complained to my coach how, how, how can I lose in spite of me preparing for six to eight months. But he was, he was very confident that I'll make it in the future and he also told me that he needs to work a lot, I need to work a lot with him so that I can achieve that goal. He gave me a target of two months to prepare um, for the next district tournament. We prepared, we worked very hard in, in those two months and the next tournament I defeated the same player, which was the second tournament of my life. My coach was very much uh, happy with the way I played and the attitude I showed to him. He asked me to even participate in the higher, higher uh, level tournaments, which was the states where I was going to represent my district. In the span of two years, I gained a lot of experience when I was 10 and 11. And by the, by the time I was, I, was, I was in the final year of under 12, I became unbeaten state champion, which means that nobody was able to defeat me uh, in, in that one year time. Over the period of, over the, uh, uh, over the years, I became, I also became under 15, under 18, and under 21, India champion. <laughs> While I was under 18, my world ranking was 6, and my goal was to enter into top 5 or probably 4 as well, and I targeted one tournament for this, which was the World Junior Championships to be held in Thailand. I was very determined to improve my world rank and in the preparation of this world championships, I got, I came across something very tragic. I, I, I managed to injure my shoulder so badly that I could not even lift my hand. I had to go to the doctor and doctor told me that if I decided to play this tournament, probably this could be the last tournament I ever played in my sporting career. That's when I understood how, how serious the injury was and I had to take a step back from this uh, competition where I was, it was really, really difficult for me because I was going to lead the Indian contingent in the World Junior Championships and I was waiting for this since past uh, quite some time. In this tough time, um, there, was, there was my team who stood by me which included my uh, strength and conditioning coach who used to help me with my fitness, my physiotherapist to help me with my rehab, 
my dietitian who who suggested me better meal plan so that i can recover even faster uh, and my recovery specialist as well lastly i would also like to mention um, my psychologist with whom i have been working for my mental health training since past 5 years when i when i initially started uh, working with her i used to complain a lot about abc things and and she told me the first advice i got from her was i need to change the negative word into a positive word which means that when i complain i say this is the problem this is the problem so she asked me to change the word problem to the word challenge this creates a very positive energy into me and that's when that's that's the time i understood that positivity can make a huge impact on one's life that brings me up to my first mantra which says that you need to change the word um, problem to the word challenge talking about challenges i have faced quite a few challenges in my life i generally have to travel a lot for my uh, international competitions in foreign land and i whenever, whenever i meet so many people they ask me they tell me uh, i am very lucky so that that i travel so many places in in uh, in the world yes that's true but at the same time there are few challenges i am i am a vegetarian player which means that i don't consume any animal meat initially i did not used to consume any, any animal meat it was quite difficult for me to manage my food in spite of my dietitian helping me out you must be thinking what i carry in my suitcase probably clothing my equipment my shoes my medicines but guess what that's not all i also have to carry cooker pan spices and also ready to eat packets so that was that was the initial challenge i uh, faced uh, uh, regarding my food the next challenge is the transition period from juniors to senior category um i was i was competing in in a in a category which has a age limit and now i am competing in a age category which has no age limit which means that i will be facing opponents of any age with vast experience it was quite difficult for me in the initial stage but slowly with the help of my coaches mentors and the team i i, I am on the process of climbing the ladder over the span of 12 years i have won 97 domestic medals and 65 international medals the another uh, challenge that i generally face while traveling is uh, for the visa when you travel to a new place you need to get a visa for each particular country that is that is the initial challenge i face and i have to also sacrifice my studies my studies my sport both for uh, just the uh, getting the visa there is a procedure to be followed and we need to go to the embassy uh, two days for three days for the for, so that the procedure of the visa is followed smoothly after getting the visas that we have to take the long flights um these flights are quite tiresome and after landing into the foreign land you also need to adapt to the climatic conditions which can probably be different by 20 to 25 uh, degrees which is which is there in india also you need to adapt to the time zone in the foreign land you need to adapt your body clock in such a manner that when when the next day i have my match i, I am in the best shape possible and there have been many instances where i land in the evening and the next day i have to play the match which is which is quite a challenge for me i generally have to compromise on three things when i travel one is rest the other is comfort and the third is the safety but at the same time there are three things that i try to keep up with these are my non negotiables and i try to keep up with my mental health training uh, with the help of my psychologist my fitness sessions and gym sessions with the help of my strength and conditioning coach and my diet plans which i try to manage with the mini kitchen uh, i carry in my bag the next um, challenge that i face is uh, how i manage my studies and uh, sports at the same time mm, i don't know how 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 should i explain this uh, in front of a school actually uh, i used to get 3 uh, to 4 weeks um, uh, for for preparation of each examination and there were my teachers and my mentors who used to help me cope up with the syllabus it was quite unfortunate for me because i used to play my sport and my classmates used to get uh, uh, the whole year to cover the syllabus whereas i got a very limited period but at the same time there was one thing that i used to used to remember when i have to just study and not not focus on my game for just 3 or 3 to 4 weeks i used to completely sacrifice my gym and my training so that i can focus on uh, my studies so the thing which i followed was that i need to focus on one thing at one time which is going to happen next 
that was that was that was the thing that helped me the maximum uh, during this period um, my school navarachna school sama who always has played a major role in my in my sporting career they they they, they supported me like anything and i was i was i was very happy that uh, they, they they disrupted their system so that they can accommodate my schedule and therefore i was able to play my sport very professionally <laughs> i would like to thank my teachers and my mentors for all their help throughout this years and the next challenge i face is um the challenge of temptations and distractions at a, uh, at, at the age that uh, these kids generally face my friends used to invite me for parties and get togethers and a lot of lot of uh, such stuff but i had my priorities very clear at that particular age which, which was very thoughtful of me i think <laughs> and i'm i'm very happy that um, i i did not miss those gym sessions for 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 parties because that was something that my psychologist also helped me to cope up with it was difficult for me i'm not saying no but at the same time i understood it was uh, important for me to attend gym and uh, my practice sessions that brings me up to my mantra 2 which says that um, uh, work while others are partying so that you can party while others are working um this was something that i understood at a quite early age of my life and i'm really happy that uh, i am i am still able to follow that routine and i hope that i'll continue in the future as well one big day i was i was fortunate enough to meet uh, mr virat kohli sir i met him on the occasion when virat kohli foundation selected me as one of the players uh, who they think have the caliber to perform in the in the coming years for the for for our country um that was the time when i when i got a chance to interact with him and i asked him one question uh, which which was uh, how does he channelize his uh, energy into something so productive and and that keeps him alive on the field all the time he answered very patiently to me that this energy which he which we see on tv is the energy which he channelizes in something so productive that he helps him and his team that that can be in in the form of um, uh, body language he strengthens his body language so much he pumps himself so much that the team also has a impact on it uh, he also asked me to um, uh, inculcate the same same learning in my game in spite of me having a individual sport and not a team sport and the next very next day i was i was grateful enough to to um, share the stage with uh, mr amitabh bachchan sir um i met him uh, in indian sports honors and i was receiving the award for the same i received uh, the indian i was in the indian sports honor receiving this award um, in front of the whole sporting fraternity which included uh, legendary milka singh sir pulela gopichand sir yuvraj singh ajinkya rahane and many more that day i felt the maximum pride because the reason why i was there my parents uh they were uh, seeing me take this award live from such a legend and i'm really really grateful that all my sacrifices i had made till date had paid off very magnificently talking about sacrifices that that brings me up to my mantra 3 which says that just making the sacrifices is not enough you need to channelize those sacrifices into something so productive that can help you achieve your goals that doesn't mean that you wake up 6 o'clock in the morning and use phone and and then then you uh, start the day that means that you wake up at 6 o'clock and then you start with uh, what you are supposed to do to achieve those goals and now i would just like to summarize the three mantras which i just shared first replacing the word problem with challenge number 2 work while others are partying so that you can party while others are working and number 3 uh, you need to channelize your sacrifice in such a positive manner that it can create a uh, impact uh, on your life lastly i would like to show my gratitude towards all those who have been a part of my journey so far starting with my parents who have always been the backbone of my sporting career they have made sure that i don't feel left out um, especially when i uh, when i don't I, i'm unable to attend any social events and gatherings i understand how difficult it must have been for them uh, because they don't come from a sporting background and i i requested them to uh, take up the sport so seriously and as my profession um secondly my friends with whom i have not been able to maintain uh, personal contact 
but they always send me messages and good wishes before the tournament and I'm really, really grateful for them. My teachers, my mentors and my coaches who have always been there for my ups and downs and they have supported me in spite of um, me not able to uh, give exam on time or probably lose in the first round. Uh, and I'm really, really grateful that I could, um, I am, I am, I am great, I'm getting uh, uh, blessings and support from them e even today. Uh, this brings me up to the end of my talk and thank you, thank you, thank you very much.